guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, I just wanted to update you guys first and foremost that I'm feeling so much better. I didn't end up going to the ER. Um, I just kind of wanted to wait it out for the rest of the day and see how I was feeling. And yesterday I was feeling so much better. So I decided to just kind of monitor my symptoms and whatnot. So I think I just had a gallbladder stone to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, I mean, I feel fine now. I'm just gonna continue to monitor my um, gallbladder and whatnot. But yeah, I mean, I got peace of mind by going to the urgent care of just like, these are the signs to look for before it gets like super serious. Um, so yeah, up and on the up and up and feeling much, much better. So went to the gym this morning and then I just um, did a big grocery run from Tom Thumb. So I figured I'd show you that. And then I'm gonna spend the day prepping and planning all of my meal sort of things for the week. So I figured I would do a little like meal prep video. So I will be filming that right now. Um, but yeah, let's go downstairs. <laughs> this little set from Target. I'll link it down below. It's the freaking cutest. Um, but my nails are stained from making turmeric juice. Uh, but yeah, I just stuck them to a gummy and the whole set came with these little like foam double-sided stickies, but how cute. And I just stuck it to a thing of gummies and wrote Arlo's name on it. I have so many leftovers because he only has 12 kids in his class and I made 25. I don't know why I made them all, but I did. So, Anywho, we're done with that. I thought it would be cute. Maybe he can give one to his granny for Valentine's Day. That would be sweet. Maybe we'll do that. Oh, we could give one to Miss Macy and Miss Scotty and yeah. Okay, never mind. I can continue making more, but without gummies on them. <laughs> or I can pick up more gummies. We'll see. Well, maybe we'll, we'll figure it out, but how cute. I can't. They're super cute. Um, Scott's got a meeting, so I'm gonna go out, take a walk. I've been just feel food prepping all day. It's 3.30, where did the day go? Stir my life. Um, but yeah, too cute. So happy with them. Um, I'm so tired. Oh, wait, gotta, oh, yes. Go get in a walk and listen to my podcast, Gone South. Um, yeah, that's all I have to update you on. Mm. Hello, you guys. My battery's gonna die, and I just changed it, but it's dead. Um, anywho, I just got back from my walk, and y'all, I don't wanna jinx this, but I recently, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I've definitely shared Kite Baby with you guys before um, and my love affair with them for Arlo and I just, I, I love the company. So they, I am part of their like Facebook group and they post job openings that they have. They're based in Euless, I believe, da Texas. It's not, it's like 30 minutes from Dallas. Um, but it is a family owned business and uh, they are hiring a YouTube coordinator. And I randomly applied, I like sent my resume, but I sent my like channel and I sent all the pictures of Arlo that of him wearing kite and told them my story about, you know, why I started doing YouTube full time again and all that stuff. And they reached out to me like literally like 30 minutes ago, not even 20 minutes ago. And yeah, they wanna have a, uh, virtual meeting on Wednesday. I'm pretty excited. It's part-time, so I would still be doing YouTube full-time, which is why I'm like, 
really excited. I hope it works out. If it doesn't, no big deal. I just put myself out there because I thought it would be fun to continue to grow and push myself with YouTube and grow my portfolio in terms of like managing other people's YouTubes and what, who knows, you know what I mean? I would still be able to do YouTube full time though, so it would be awesome, but it would give me a reason to like leave the house and just interact more with other people and continue to grow my knowledge and everything for YouTube. So I don't know. Fingers crossed you guys. I'm pretty excited about it. I like had no intentions of looking for other jobs like at all. Um, but I told myself like if something comes my way and it's the right fit, then go for it. So I did. <laughs> I literally like emailed them at like 10 o'clock at night and was like, no idea. But I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not go for it? So I did and uh, I have an interview on Wednesday. Other side note, before my camera really dies, I wanted to share with you what I just got in the mail. Um, I really wanted a new curling iron that's larger. So I got one and a half inch Hot Tools curling iron off Amazon. It was like super cheap. So I'll link it down below. But I wanted to do more of like a blowout rounded sort of look um, and use my Velcro rollers more. But I needed a like larger curling iron for that. So hopefully... I like this one. I've actually never tried Hot Tools. I normally just get like Conair or whatever because I'm cheap like that. No, I don't know. I just feel like, yes, curling irons make a difference, but to an extent. So, let's see. Cool. Yeah. All right, so it is large, in charge. But yes, it's gonna give me like that rounded sort of blowout look. I'm excited. Goes up to 430 degrees, so that is this little guy. Morning, you guys. I actually forgot my camera this morning. Whatever. Um, I finished my workout, it's like 9.37. It's not like it is. And I thought I would have time to run home before my hair appointment at 10, but I don't. Um, so I just stopped to grab Smoothie King. I get a chocolate slim and trim, no stevia, and add peanut butter. And it's good. Um, so let's go get this hair done. I'm getting a full set of highlights because Lord knows I need it. But yeah, so I'm gonna run and do that and then um, I'll talk to you guys. When yes, I like really need to clean up this whole mess that is my life right now and I'll I have a big old haul that I need to see and get ready for tomorrow. Hi, Miss Weenies. Um, I want to show you really quick. I ended up, I think I showed these. I definitely showed these in my, maybe in the beginning, or maybe last week's vlog, maybe last week's vlog, where I got this top, which I love, and I got these jeans, but I got them in a 27, and they were too big, so I ordered them in a 26 online, and I love them. So these are the 501 original crop they just fit so much better anyways I got this bathing suit I'm just like still in the hunt for like some good bathing suits that I feel like look good flat or whatever this one was really cute I liked it it's like sold out online or I would link it I'm pretty sure it is um because I looked the other day to see if I could find a medium in it because I got a small um and they were sold out they left the freaking tag on it so that's fun so I need to remove it nonetheless go take it to them the cup pads are not removable in case you are um I also link it in case they come back in size or you're a larger and extra large or maybe even extra small I'm not sure but I thought it was cute um so I think I'm gonna keep it so yeah and then <laughs> I got this mascara which is new it's the colossal curl bounce mascara by Maybelline I love a good mascara I'm a sucker, so I got that stuff. Um, but yeah, I need to return these other jeans. <sighs> a mess. I even showed you my new hair. I got my hair done yesterday. It's looking fresh, it's looking good. I have makeup on and I'm dressed from here up, not pants, but who cares. I have my face-to-face -face or virtual, like, it's not an interview, but kind of, I don't know, with Kite Baby today in about 10 minutes. I'm nervous, I'm just trying to relax, but honestly, like, I shouldn't be nervous because it's like, I either get it or I don't. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it would be awesome, I would absolutely love it, but knowing that like, 
I don't need it takes a lot of the pressure off if that makes sense and I want to feel like it's a good fit and I want them to feel like it's a good fit and if it's not then it's okay so I don't know it's completely like a weird feeling um but it also like reminds me of when I interviewed for Japan even though I already had a job it wasn't like I was losing my job or anything like that but I remember like leaving the like I think it was a couple day long interview um, at home office and being like if I don't get this job it's really gonna break my heart because I feel as though it's like something I want so bad and I do want this don't get me wrong I really do but I also want it to feel right and to fit um, and I don't want to just take a job for the sheer fact of like taking a job I want to make sure that it's 100% what I want to do because it will take a little bit away from my ability to do YouTube and I don't want that so I want to make sure it's a really good fit and I can learn and grow them as well as myself as a person in order to know if it's gonna be the right one but I don't know we'll see like I said if it's meant to be it'll be and if it's not that's okay too so wish me luck and I'll let you guys know how it goes <laughs> I'm super excited. I don't know, it just like, it feels right, it feels super good. I'm so excited, I'm like smiling, like I have, my cheeks hurt. I have to be real, cause even though I'm like so insanely excited, I am so sad right now, cause all I want to do is call my mom. It's all I want to do. I know how happy she would be for me. I know how just, I don't know. I don't know. I really channeled her though today, like, cause normally I let the nerves, my nerves get really, really crazy. And I just told myself like, if it's meant to be, it'll be. And if it's, you know, right on both parts, then it'll, it'll happen. So I don't know. I just, I just can't help but miss her so freaking much that I just, I don't wanna call her and I wanna tell her how excited I am. But, um, I can't, and that sucks, but it's okay, it's okay, she knows that she's watching, she's probably like right there, <laughs> it's fine, oh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Just move your body towards it. Oh my god, don't dump it on the tempura. Go for it. Are they marinated? I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Uh, you won't. You already ate all yours. Okay, Scott's golfing, but I'm gonna show you what we got. Scott got this golf hat. This one, which is super cute. Scott got this hat. Scott likes that. I got this hat. It's cute. We got Arlo this ball that farts. I little think it's cute. And then glove for Scott. Glove for this is for Scott. That one was for me. Wait, did you get two? No, that's me. And then whoa. I think the balls. So I got two polos. A blue one? Dang it, I just 
think this is going to be bad. Interesting. I'm going to bring you a lot of balls. Good thing. Oh, that's not bad. smooth, keep your head still, keep your eye on the ball, rotate back, rotate forward. There you go. See, that's what we need. That's all we need from you tomorrow. Just roll what? it up the fairway. Just hit the ball? <laughs> Just hit the ball, roll it on up there. So your tease where you're going to hit from is going to already be like 100 yards in front of me. So as long as you just like do that, Popped it up, didn't go very far, and just went all the way under it. Yeah. Just imagine like you're really pissed off at me. You're about to take a club. You want to hit me. off at you. You're just gonna, like, you got. I'm mad at you. You got your your uh, cooking spatula or. Why would I hit you with a, a cooking spatula? Why would I hit you with a cooking spatula? What would I hate with a spatula? So remember what, I, what we did, what I told you? Club is two, a golf swing is two swings. You got yeah. your left hand swing, you got your right hand swing. Can we go through that tomorrow before I start playing? I mean, you should go through it right now while you're practicing. There you go. Because I remember, because when you just said that, I remembered to do this. Yep. I didn't do that. Look, you hit that 125 yards. Because you hit down on it, if you try and swing up on it, you're not gonna hit it clean. See? But remember to follow through. I know, I didn't follow through. Remember that little two-year-old with his back foot and he ends up hitting the target? Let me show you what I'm doing. When you finish swinging, don't swing, don't finish right here. That's what you're doing. Yes. Chin up. Head still. Nice and easy. Here you go. is leaving now to go take Arlo to his granny's. I have laundry going. I need to clean up the mess that is our kitchen. But I stayed home because I have so much editing and things that I need to get done. But I wanted to share with you, you're super balancing on a thing. I have chocolate all over me because Arlo had some chocolate. <laughs> I melted chocolate because I used my little chocolate mold thing because I wanted to test it out. I wanted to test it out to see if it would work and if it's fine. So I just stuck it in the freezer probably a couple minutes ago. I used this chocolate. I don't know. I just got this at um, Tom Thumb. And my little gold um, like sheets came in the mail. So we'll be using this, but not until like, I, this is just a test run. See if it works. Um, I don't know. I don't want to wait and see. I'm afraid of like bubbling in the chocolate. So anywho, um, we had a good day. Went to the golf store for freaking two and a half hours. I'm losing my mind too, many, too long. Um, and then we, to this, there's this little restaurant place 
cafe sort of thing right next to Arlo's daycare um, that just reopened. So we went there and had like a drink. They don't have like liquor. They only have like beer, wine, and like spritzers. So I had a spritzer, it's quite a beer. Then I picked up Arlo and got home, got him showered, packed up, ready to go to Granny's. And I have so much editing, so much stuff to do because I took basically the entire day off. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, got lots to do for that. But um, yeah, I wanted to show you how this mold works. So let's see, done. So I just stuck it on tin foil in the freezer. It wasn't done a minute ago. Oh, it's done now, yeah. All right, moment of truth. Let me not have a tripod. Mm. Okay, well, how do you get it out without breaking it? It's just breaking. Does it need to be thicker? I should read it directions. How do you get it out without like, the sides are just, oh yeah, it definitely needs to be thicker, I think. Yeah, see that part broke. This is why I wanted to play around and just see. I clearly didn't put enough around the edges. That's okay, I can eat all my mistakes. Okay, yeah, this is. <laughs> oh, but it's glossy though, so which is my biggest concern. All right, so I guess I just need to build it up around the outside. Oh my God, it actually turned out pretty cute. I am not gonna lie. I impressed myself. Ah, it looks like a butt. Still looks like a butt. But okay, let me show you. Besides just, okay, I do have like an air bubble over here. An air bubble there. Besides the sides, which needs some work. We'll work on that. Let's see. Oh, it's definitely. Oh, there we go. Yay! Cute. Okay, super cute. Very excited. A plus. That chocolate's super good. Okay, so I'm glad that worked out. Trial and error. So. I'll post this video on Sunday, so maybe you can still get it in time for Monday, for Valentine's Day. I'm a mess, but that's okay. Cool, I'm so excited that worked out. I'm so excited. Green chocolate. I just realized that I can reuse the chocolate. I don't have to eat this all, which is good, but also I kinda wanna eat it all. Um, but I'm probably gonna save it, so that way. <laughs> I don't know, I don't have to. I definitely did it way too like thick um, in the center. Like you can see some of that pieces are really thick. And then just too thin on the sides. Like look how thick that is. So, I mean, I literally just like whipped it together real fast. So we will see. I really hope that this doesn't just like melt. I don't, I don't know how it works. Because it's already been tempered. I'm gonna keep it in the fridge. All right, yay. Super excited. So my plan, <clears throat> eating chocolate off the counter, very cute, was to um, go to Target today. Do I have chocolate in my mouth? Go to Target today to pick up some things to like put inside the heart. Um, but, that didn't work because we were gone all day. Uh, but I did order some more Elmo socks on Amazon. I've been obsessed with Elmo socks. So I'll put those in there, but <laughs> they might have to go in like a bag. This is gonna be cute and some other candies and things. Um, so yeah, that's, glad we tested that out. Now let's pick up this life and then go upstairs and get some work done because I'm very scatterbrained. Very much a mess. I need a chocolate. I'm on a sugar high right now.